In today's video, we're gonna be taking a clear Lexan body and turning it into a beautiful piece of art. If that's something you wanna learn more about, definitely stay tuned for more. We're gonna be using the Toyota GR Supra. This Tamiya body comes with light buckets, side mirrors, full instruction sheet, and a lovely, beautiful, detailed sticker sheet with window masks. For paint, we're going to go with red, black, white, and we got metal. So first things first, we're going to start trimming out the body and we're going to mark which holes I'm going to be using for my body post. So we can grab our chassis, easiest way to find the body post. While the body's clear, we're going to put the body over the chassis, line up your wheels in the correct spot and then see which holes line up for your body post. So we got the body lined up on our chassis now, and we're gonna mark where the body posts come up. That's probably one of the most important parts, because you gotta make sure the body fits your chassis. Cutting out the body, we're gonna use a combination of an X-Acto knife and body cutting scissors. So what you just witnessed me do there is called scoring, where I take my knife and I run it along the cut line. You're not actually pushing the knife through the material, you're just trying to use some force to apply a cut line along. At that point you can then bend and pull the plastic along your cut line and it should just cut with it. One simple way to get a nice straight line. Again, I'll demonstrate on the other side. So at this point, I scored already along it. Now I'm gonna demonstrate bending and tearing. You see how it just breaks right along the line? It's a little nerve wracking when you first do it, but once you see how it's well it works, you get comfortable. We got the super roughly cut out now. We're gonna neaten up the edges and then ream the body post holes. So we're gonna use the standard body reamer. Simply poke a hole, spin. are all done. We're gonna do the rear. Oh, scary. Hey. What's up, buddy? So with the front end, we're just gonna double check the back and all looks good. A lot of distractions in the shop today. Cause of you. Cause of you. Beard's so cute. He's showing off. <laughs> hey, don't eat the TTO2. Hey, don't eat my tire. That's nice. <laughs> hey, 
Hey! Alright. Body... Oscar. Body poster done. We... <laughs> Dude. We got the... Oh my... Got the body mounted. <laughs> Get your butt out of here. Okay. This is ridiculous. So unfortunately, the body's sitting a little too low. And these body posts I'm not going to be able to use. So I'll have to get some new ones for that. Alright, next step. We're going to cut out two little holes for the side mirrors. And cut out the light bucket. Such a satisfying technique once you master it. And there's one rear tail light. So, side mirrors are good. The light buckets are cut, ready for paint. Next step, let's get the window masks on. cut these window masks out with scissors and also before we apply them we're going to do a quick clean on the inside to make sure they stick nice. We got the window mask applied to the Supra. Now we're going ahead and tape off whatever needs to be black. And a little tip, pay attention to your sticker sheet. I was thinking about masking off some of the front to be black. There's actually a lot of stickers that will be going on that are me painting it black. So really for the front, I don't have much to mask off. I can paint that all one color and then get the two color effect with the stickers. So for the back, I'm gonna tape off the back here. Tip time. It's a good idea to use a small card or like a credit card, something in a hard plastic. Any technical small areas with tape, if you have any creases or trouble spots, it's a good idea to go over all edges using the card to really press down that tape to avoid the paint from getting inside. So it'll help you get more clean lines. Another tip is using a dry erase marker. You can use it on the outside to create some designs so you know where you want to put your masking tape and also get a visual to see what it looks like. And then if you're not happy with anything, just erase it. So this is great if you're doing technical or abstract, any fancy designs where you really wanna get an idea of what it's gonna look like on the body. So I'm gonna go with most of the front of the car being white. And it's gonna fade into a stripe pattern with the back being red. Possibly gonna have the roof being black. We'll see how it looks with the stripe design. Let's get it started.
it's ready to paint ink. We got the stripes laid down. And another quick tip is using drape tape. Instead of covering this whole body with pieces and pieces and pieces of tape, I'm gonna use this. I got this at plastidip.com. So plan of attack, you should always spray dark colors first. We're gonna do black stripe from the black diffuser. Then we're gonna peel back, do the gunmetal dark gray stripe. Peel that back and the back off. Then we're gonna spray the red. Then we're gonna peel everything off and then spray the white. Let's go spray some paint. Booth, everything's set. So another little tip, I use double-sided tape just to hold down my tiny things so they don't blow away while spray painting. And definitely not the most ideal conditions to spray paint. Still snow outside. But we got a race coming up soon and I need a new body. So we're going for it. Safety first, don't forget. I'm gonna peel the tape now and then we're gonna do the gum metal stripe. Alright, got my was done. Now we're gonna move the tape and spray some red. Tape's peeled. Spray some red. Now we're gonna peel the rest and spray the white. All the masking's peeled. Time for the last color. Done. We're gonna bring it inside to cure and we'll put on the decals tomorrow. Let's peel this protection off and see how the paint job turned out. All 
I don't know what happened here. Somehow got through my masking or the plastic. But it's okay, we're gonna cover it up. You'll see. Oof, the red just looks amazing. This side came out a lot better. In the front, we have no issues at all. Yeah, most of this is gonna get covered up anyway with decals. And I'm gonna just add another stripe here, cover up all this. Now let's go ahead and peel off all the window masks. So I'm just using this card to scrape off any overspray. All these little fingers on the headlights, that little bit of red. Just scrape it off, just like you're scratching a lottery card. Okay, edges are all cleaned up. Now let's put on some decals. Decals are coming along so nice. Really adding the touches to the Supra. We're gonna take a moment here now and work on the mirrors really quick. Comes with the mirror, but there's no lens. So we have the sticker. We're gonna place the sticker on the clear, cut it out, make our own lens. decal sheet is finished the supra is looking amazing so time to make it even better and add my personal vinyl gonna use some satin black vinyl for the stripe and then we're gonna tint the windows Done the video yet, buddy? We're not. We're not done the video. Okay. Anyways, time to cut the stripe.
Well, that worked out pretty well. Bit of a different design. It hid the overspray really nice here. The bad patch that was under here. I think it flows pretty good from the front and then into the side and into the back. Since some windows. That right there is how you paint a body from beginning to end. This is a pretty basic design I did. Good design for beginners, pretty straightforward. Gets you using multiple different colors and you get to see some masking. You also got to see what happens if you mess up. Use some vinyl and easily save your body. If I didn't tell anyone, most people would never know that there was a problem with my paint job. Painting a body at times can be stressful. When things don't turn out the way you plan or you have bad masking or bleeding or unideal paint conditions things can happen but there are ways to fix it so don't always panic try and save what you got instead of starting all over and wasting your money look at that really excited to get the super out on the track let's see how the body looks mounted on the chassis the design simple look how well that window tin hides the chassis sneak peek with the ugly race wheels on they don't look too bad i plastic dipped them some of the some of it's coming off from the rubbing it means it's good racing all right you've seen it how to paint a body from beginning to end if you guys like that video please subscribe for more smash that like button drop a comment below tell me what you think of the supra have a great day, guys.